Hey everyone, I'm Andrew and welcome to Tech Check. In today's video, I'll be unboxing MPOW's EG3 Pro Gaming Headset with Surround Sound. But before we open it up, how about we just take a quick look at the box? So looking at the box, the top left corner here you have the MPOW branding Dream, Explore, Inspire. Right underneath that you have it telling you what it is. It's the EG3 Pro Gaming Headset with Surround Sound, followed by a picture of what you should expect to receive in the box. This being the EG3 Pro Gaming Headset. With its nice large ear cups, you just got showing the LED there. This one being the gold unit. They also have one in a black with a blue LED. And on the bottom left here, you just have a couple features, a big ear cup design, LED light, and 3D surround sound, as well as the model number in the bottom right corner. But that's it for the front of the box, so how about we check out the side? Looking at the side, you have some features listed in a vertical fashion on a black background that's kind of faded, probably just from sitting on a shelf or something, but starting at the top, you have LED light, which is set on the front, big ear cup design, comfort fit, multifunctional wired control, 50 millimeter drivers, 3D surround sound, and then last but not least, just another model number or product number or something. Looking at the back of the box, on the top, of course, you have what it is again, the EG3 Pro gaming headset with surround sound. Then just listing some features about it, like the true sound, true surround sound effect, multi-platform compatibility, which is great, and this is upgraded, I believe, to work with the new Xbox One controller as well. Uh, I don't think the last version did. Don't quote me on that, though. And ergonomic design, all right. Under that, you have the specifications of the unit listed. There's some like 50 millimeter driver, your max power, your mic sensitivity, frequency range, stuff like that. And at the bottom here, you have your manufacturer, MPOW Technology, and how you can contact them, as well as your EU importer, which I'm in Canada, so that really doesn't do anything for me. And then just your website and copyright information, email if you do need to contact them. As I said, the other side, same thing, carbon copy. Nothing on the bottom of the box. And on the top, you just have some more MPAL branding. Dream, Explore, Inspire on a white writing on a black background. A little bit faded from the warehouse. Who knows how long it sat in there, but the box looks to be in great shape, so... I would assume the product works great. So now that we've gone over the entire box, I guess it's time to actually open it up and look at the gaming headset itself. So to open up the box, not like everybody doesn't already know, you just pull down this little flap right here, which releases the top, open the top and reveal what you have inside. And okay, well, looks that this is actually just sat loose in here. So let's pull this out. Nothing else in the box, no manual or anything. Maybe it's in this little plastic bag here. So this seems to be a little plastic Ziploc bag with some sort of handle. Not that I would ever use this as a carrying bag, but let's open it up and actually look at this headset. Oh, yeah, I was right. Okay, so let's pull everything out and get rid of this plastic to reveal. Manual, I would guess. Yep, Pro surround sound manual. A little extra foam piece, windscreen on, for the edge of your microphone here, if you want that. Then you have the actual, oh, let's just look at this first. Okay, so your little 3.5 adapter to go if you have like a different mic and headphone plugs, not just one plug for both. And then you have the actual unit here with a nice long braided cable it seems like that's i really like that it feels so light and oh that I, I like this and then of course you have the dual end which is your 3.5 as well as your usb but as they said oh even says it right here if you can read that usb only for led power supply so i'll probably just like time together and not use that at all then here you have your little inline switch for your microphone to mute. Okay, so let's, you can hear that little click there. 
Then you have a little volume roller, which doesn't continuously turn, so it stops at the top and bottom. Then you have this cord going up to your ear, ear cup. Oh, these, these are actually nice. Nice metal construction on the band and sides. Kind of plastic feeling on the cups here. The foam actually feels very cushiony, very soft. Seems uh, not real leather, I don't think, but that's okay, especially for the price. Then you have the main feature of this I was really excited for was this little strap right here because I'm sick of headsets like, okay, let me show you my Turtle Beach one. Right here, it has like no padding whatsoever and just after a couple hours digs right into your scalp and oh, so I'll be getting rid of those. So on the inside of the left, oh, well, yeah, I should say that. You do have an L and an R to let you know which side is each as the microphone is usually on the left side and as you can see here, this is extremely flexible. So that's good. Placement wherever you want it stays right there. That's good. The metal band, as I said, the, no turning, no flex of the cups there, but it feels like you could throw it around, do the drop test. Come on, everybody gets mad and throws their headset now and then. This can't take one drop. This is not gonna be good for a gamer. Oh, you have the MPAL branding on the strap right there, if you can see it. Little, uh, look like metal cords for the adjustment there, holding the band in place so it won't break, as well as little straps right here for when it's fully extended to keep it from, I guess, ripping right off. That's good. Here is where the LEDs would be, so how about I just uh, plug this in and we can take a look at it with the LEDs on. So I just plugged the headset into my computer and right away noticed something that I forgot, even though I knew about it after reading the uh, Amazon site. This little microphone here has an LED tip that is activated when the microphone is on and when you turn it off with this little inline switch here, turns the LED off letting you know all right, my microphone's muted right now, so I can say whatever I want without everybody hearing me. Or, when you see that it's off, it's like, oh, nobody can hear me. Let's turn it back on. So it's a good indicator for while you're gaming. Now, showing you the other side, these are the LEDs on the ear cups. Let's bring it up a little bit. I did find there is a hot spot on each left and right side of this one. Doesn't have that same issue on the other ear cup. I should say. But yeah, those are the LEDs for the MPOW EG3 Pro gaming headset. Thanks for watching my unboxing of the MPOW EG3 Pro gaming headset. I'm actually quite impressed with this headset here. And if you are too, would like to pick one up for yourself, or possibly just learn more about it, I have some links posted in the description below where you can do just that. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up leave a comment, and possibly subscribe. I'm Andrew, and this was Tech Check.